Hey guys, let's talk about lawnmower height. So a typical lawnmower has these levers. It has one on each wheel and you use those to adjust the height. They're kind of a pain to use. Um, they're also kind of hard to line up because there's no obvious indicator which level they're all at. So it can be a pain to get all four wheels at the same height. Now I have a Husqvarna lawnmower that has a much better system. It has a single lever that adjusts all four wheels at the same time and it has eight marked notches so you can remember what height you want to be at. Also the lever's spring-loaded so it's much easier to adjust. You can generally do it one-handed which is really nice. So the only problem with that system is you don't really know how those numbers went through eight correspond to the actual height of the grass that you're cutting. I've looked through the manual, but I never really saw a chart that actually says, you know, number one means grass is going to be this high, number two grass that high and so on. And that can be important in the fall because you're supposed to cut your grass a lot shorter through the winter. That's supposed to be healthier for the lawn. So I have this big patch of grass that I haven't mowed in a couple of weeks to get it nice and tall. So what I'm gonna to do today is mow a strip for each height of the mower. And then I'm gonna measure the height of the grass manually with a yardstick. So I'll know exactly what each height one through eight actually means as far as grass height. So at the end of this video, there should be a nice simple chart that I can reference and you can reference. So, all right, let's begin. I'm gonna start with number eight, which is the highest height this mower can do. I actually normally use number eight to mow my lawn because I like a nice tall, thick lawn, but I know a lot of people like to keep it nice and short. I might have let this patch of grass get a little too tall for this kind of test because it's getting really tough to mow. So these last four are probably going to be pretty tough. So I might have to take a whole bunch of passes to get it down to the right height without too much uh, grass clippings. But that shouldn't affect the actual point of the test, which is the height. All right, let's continue. Last one, I don't think I've ever mowed this low before. All right, that worked out pretty good, but there's a lot of clumps on the grass. So I'm going to go get the rake and rake all those out to make it a little easier to actually take the measurements. All right, now it's time to get on my hands and knees and start measuring blades of grass like a crazy person. So number eight is about three and a half inches or about 10 centimeters. All right, number seven looks like it's around three inches. Eight centimeters, eight and a half centimeters. All right, number six looks like it's maybe two and three quarters inches, around seven centimeters. All right, number five, looks like it's right around two and a quarter, two and a half, looks like it's around six centimeters. All right, number four, Looks like around two inches and around five centimeters. All right, number three, maybe an inch and three quarters to an inch and a half and about four centimeters. Number two looks like it's right around an inch and a half, which is the same as number three. So I think number three might've been a little bit taller than that and about four centimeters. All right, number one, between an inch and an inch and a half, depending on exactly where I measure from. So maybe three centimeters. All right, it's hard to get exact values because my yard isn't perfectly level. So everywhere you measure, you're gonna get a slightly different number. So if I take all these numbers, kind of average them together and put them on a graph, it should make it more clear what the heights actually are. That's assuming that every notch on the mower 
is evenly spaced, which I would expect that they are. So let me do a little math and then I'll have the end result for you. All right, here's the chart, but the chart doesn't exist yet for me. So I'm gonna have to describe it to you in a voiceover. Actually, before we look at charts, let's look at the table of raw data first. I'll just quickly go over what each column represents. Column number one represents the eight notches on the height adjustment lever on the mower itself. Column number two is the measured height of the grass in inches. Column number three is the measured height of the grass in centimeters. Column number four is the height of the grass in inches, but converted into centimeters. So when I graph these numbers, the lines will line up with each other. Column number five is what I'm estimating the actual raw numbers to be in centimeters. And then column number six are those same metric values but converted into inches with fractions so they're a little rounded but they're very close okay now here's the graph for those numbers the red line is the measurements in inches and the green line is the measurements in centimeters you can see they're not perfectly matched up but they're very close and I was a little more careful when I was measuring with inches so I think the inches are a little bit more accurate so if I assume that the centimeter value for number eight was a misread because it's unusually high and if we also assume that level two and three are not the same height because I got the same number in centimeters but different numbers in inches then the blue line fits this data set almost perfectly. The blue line represents half centimeter increments from level one to two to three, and then whole centimeter increments from level three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The numbers on the blue line are such a good fit that I'm pretty sure that's what the actual values are supposed to be. All right, here's the final list of height numbers in centimeters and in inches. Feel free to pause the video now and write these down on a note so you can stick it on the wall of your shed for easy reference. All right, the whole reason I did this video is because I couldn't find a chart that actually showed the height numbers of this mower. I'm sure there's people out there that have somehow been able to find it and kind of made this whole video pointless, but still it's fun to see the actual raw numbers. Uh, like I said though, because my yard isn't perfectly level, it's hard to take really perfect measurements. It's accurate enough that I think this is good enough to go by. So like I said at the start, I actually use the highest number, number eight, for most of my mowing. The only time I lower it is in this fall when I'm getting ready for winter. It's good to have a shorter lawn in the winter. So I'll lower it a notch every week until it's nice and low. Usually I only go down to number five. I don't really ever go below that though. But I'm not sponsored in any way by anybody in this video. I paid for all these mowers. I just really like the one I have. All right, well, that's all for today. Now I need to mow the whole lawn and clean up the mess I just made. So I'll see you guys later.